Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as the boulder in this one. It's Slim, Sunny, Maggie and Torvald. We're on Orbital Drill, so we're going to go Jade for this one. A bit of a swampy map. We'll do everything except Tong as always for uh, Aimeth. We'll do top speed because it increases the speed of his boulder form. The, uh, the synergy that he has with that perk rather than actual traversal region. And we'll see how this one goes. As the 1599 man, you know. Uh, that only has relevance if he was around during release, because this monster was 1599 to buy. And it was oh so controversial back then. Meanwhile, you know, just to throw it in there at the beginning here, ladies and gentlemen, TCM wants to sell you a fucking skin for that price now. Um, so yeah. I trust that you have the IQ to see that, you know, it's just nonsensical, quite honestly. But anyway, moving on. Uh, we're going to be doing what we normally do. And that is getting out of stage one as quickly as possible. Because it is our weakest form. I was hoping there'd be a, uh, some striders behind there. That's going to hit that wall, isn't it? Yeah, fucking idiot. I'm trying to bounce it off the wall there so we could hit these. It's fine. What I will say, ladies and gentlemen, on that topic um, about the fifteen ninety nine price tag, you have to sort of look at this and how well animated it is compared to maybe, say, not necessarily somebody from TCM, but also DVD, which is obviously the peak um, or the top, I should say, ASIM at the moment, you know. When he feeds every individual panel on his back's shifting around because it simulates mood, which is a trait that's shared across a lot of monsters. Wraith has it with her um, tendrils on the back as well. There's all little links between each monster that sort of symbolises that they came from each other, you know. Ain't nothing anywhere fucking near that in TCM or Dead by Daylight. You could combine the two games together and it wouldn't fucking come close. And that's just not even bias. It's just, it is what it is. Um, we are going to grab stage one here. I mean, we've killed a mammoth, so I'm going to hell. It's fine, I'll grab it here. The only thing I do wish was different about Behemoth was the fact that I would like his, uh, oh shit, hang on a minute, uh, that, that and that, um, his camera was a little bit more zoomed out, because it is a bit close, hello, I'm just going to say what the fuck, can I please finish my meal first? I do want to grab that just while we can get it. We do want Maggie in this instance because if we get Maggie down we can get out of this dome. Do catch Daisy with the boulder. Might not yet. I just stood in some mortars. That is going to be Mags now. I was kind of hoping the wall had blocked them mortars there, that's fine. We'll do a bit of a restock with the armour. Interrupt the wildlife up here. It's hunting each other. Because again, that's something else that exists in this game. Little bits of detail. We'll finish this off just so we've got stage. Well, we're not going to actually have stage three ready, but it's. We partially blocked them mortars. That's a dodge axe, I was focusing too much on trying to. Just going to jump back into that, yep. 
went down very easily there because she isolated herself. This team's very uh, revive worthy. Well, I can revive itself very nicely because they do have ranged revives via Slim. They could put little healing bugs on his teammates. And they also have Daisy. They just sneak into places from time to time. I'm going to try and push him a bit away here. Shit, I used my tongue there. I was say. Fucking slim dude, this one. I need Maggie in this instance because I've got no armor at the moment. Just get out of the way of motors. I've just realized actually, uh, based on recent comments, I better play this perfectly as well because that one guy in the comments that seems to be critiquing my gameplay against fucking bots uh, might be a little bit uh, displeased with me. So this one's for you. Good. He's down. That's the one I need. Yeah. Bounce off the wall there is actually quite beneficial. We are actually going to kill Maggie here. Yep. We'll go and grab uh, stage 3 now though. We'll do. Do you get a bit of a comparison in this little cave area here as to how big Behemoth actually is at stage 3? You sort of see it. Because <laughs> this is actually like a big ass room for hunters. And we're literally nearly the same size as it. He's not actually the biggest monster in the game though, the biggest monster is stage 3 Kraken. My elder Kraken is uh, the biggest one, based on uh, the size of his spikes as well. Birds ignoring us is not something I'm very interested in at this stage of the game. Although, from moving so my very distant cousin. <laughs> the equivalent of a slim panic fart there. Sunny is isolated massively for some reason. There's a stage 3 wall for you. I always like to show that off. Pretty damn insane. The size of it. Need to move away because I want to see where he is. I'm being. It was both Sunny's cloak and uh, smell range removal there. Get rid of Daisy there. Where's he gone up there? Quite get that. We go down there. Yeah, we do get that. There he is. Good. It's very poor play by Maggie that though, because uh, she should have been on the other side of that wall, it was very close to me. Get the Colin Stone very easily, because they're very weak. By virtue of our existence as behemoth, we don't need to be too concerned about armor just yet, so we can stay. God, it literally changes the fucking shape of the map, man, it's so good. Oh, 
quite use his jetpack there. That's going to be a down on Tovo, yeah. Need to be careful of Slim here because he's going to be range reviving. We are now getting into the realms of where armor is uh, going to be a thing we're going to want. Because, yeah, there it is. I'm a bit too late. Uh, a bit too far away. Shit. I would have fucking predicted that. That's, I thought she was going to slide along the dome. Do need to get it down there because no, there we go. Do get to eat this because that wall's massive, so it'll cover everything. He was over there, then, wasn't he? Yeah. Should be a slim kill. Sonny is presently running off somewhere, which is. Oh, you should have fucking stayed quiet there, lass. Use an offensive wall there. Use it to top up the armor. It does have a shield here. Yeah. We'll use. <clears throat> there goes my voice. I'm trying to use lava bomb to melt his shield, but ah, oh, fucking hell, that went miles away. Eh, it gives us a bit of a play area. Good. Did I actually get the respawn? Fucking hell. Yeah, we need to get out because Maggie's here. Quite a close one for Behemoth, this one. Ideally, we need to get back in there now. Armor regen will take. It's not the greatest, obviously, but it's... I guess we won't take it because it's fucked off all the way over there. Get these. It's a nice pull. It's a confirmed kill. Go straight back into the combo for Slim as well. Uh, that's Daisy. I wanted Sunny ideally. She do not run off again. Jesus, I can't run off anywhere. <clears throat> I need to drink something. Fucking hell, I don't know what the fuck's going on with my voice. I don't actually know if... Yeah. We've got everybody except Torvald though, so this should be it. Try and quite kill her with the wall. That's going to be everybody, I think. By everybody, I mean Maggie and Daisy. Should add some. Need you before you fucking run off again and buy another another wave for the team. It's what you need to do in this particular instance. She's doing what you should be doing. It's what your cloak's for in this stage of the game. You run off for support so you can keep getting continuous waves. There it is. I don't have an angle for Fisher though. Do that though. Should be it. Gone. Ah. 
that's it. Pretty damn close for Behemoth, that one. But yeah, as I say at the end, like, when... If you get to stage 3 like that, it's actually quite decent to stay... Not draw attention to yourself, basically, as support. And just kind of, like, exist in the background. And then as soon as it starts going downhill, you sort of duck out. And you can buy endless waves, basically, for your team. So... Makes the support something you have to go for as the uh, monster at the end. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.